Water in your neighborhood. Hello everybody. My name is Christine and I work with Oakville Green. Today, I am here to talk to you about Oakville's water and how we can help to keep it healthy. Water is everywhere. We can find water almost everywhere. There is water in your home, in lakes and ponds, in the sky, in the ground, and even inside of you. We all need water. All living things need water, including humans, animals, and plants. Plants use water so that they can grow and clean the air that we all breathe. Humans and animals drink water. We clean ourselves with it. For some animals, the water is their home. I want to tell you the story of a little fish that lives in a small stream in Oakville. Her name is Daisy. She is a red-sided dace, which is an endangered fish. This means that she is having trouble in the wild, and she might disappear if we don't help her. Daisy's home used to be in an area where there is clean water, lots of plants, and lots of insects, because that is her favorite food. We are now down at the stream with Daisy to find out what is happening with the water and why red-sided dace are having trouble in our streams. And more importantly, what we can do to help Daisy and her friends. Daisy has a lot of friends that live around the water with her. Some of her friends are tiny, and some of them are pretty big. Some of them swim fast, some swim slow, some wiggle, some slide, and some hop. Natural versus man-made cover. As you can see in this picture, people have hurt the natural water cycle. In forests, lots of rain gets into the ground, but in cities, it doesn't. The water cycle works much better without our cities, buildings, houses, and big parking lots. What is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land where all of the water flows into the same place, like a big river or lake. We all live in a watershed. Our watershed provides all of the water that we use to drink, cook, and swim in. Daisy is feeling a little bit sick. What do you think it could be? Oh no, her water is dirty. Erosion. When it rains, the water sometimes carries dirt and rocks into creeks and ponds. All of the dirt that ends up there makes it really hard for small fish like Daisy to breathe. Trees help prevent this because their roots grab the soil so that it does not get washed away. When the ground is not covered with plants, the dirt washes away with the rain, which makes animals like Daisy sick. Sometimes the dirty water goes into stormwater drains like this one, and this still ends up in our creeks and ponds. There are a lot of ways to prevent erosion in Oakville. One of these is rain gardens. Rain gardens catch rainwater and melted snow from your grass, roof, and driveway. The plants in the garden will clean the water and make sure that it is healthy for when it reaches a stream. Daisy keeps moving downstream to get away from the dirty water. However, when she gets downstream, she still doesn't like it, but she's not sure what's wrong this time. Do you see any clues? Fertilizers in water. The water seems to have lots of algae growing, which can make some animals sick. Sometimes the fertilizers that make our gardens and lawns grow wash into the streams. How to help. How can we help Daisy and other animals feel better? To fix Daisy's algae problem, we can use natural fertilizers in our gardens, like manure, instead of chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers are toxic and they will make the water really sick. To keep the water clean, you can pick up litter and never throw garbage on the ground or in the forest. You should also pick up your dog's poop. This will keep it out of the streams and lakes and keep animals healthy. 
It is also important to save water. We shouldn't use too much water, since the plants and animals need it too. If you turn off the tap while you are brushing your teeth, you will save 10 liters of water a day, and that's 20 water bottles. It is also good to use a reusable water bottle instead of a plastic one. Little actions like these make a big difference. Oakville Green, where I work, runs volunteer programs where we take care of the plants and animals here in Oakville. We would love it if you and your family got involved. Thank you so much for watching.